Ladies and lads, Spag here, how it do? Today I'm going to be analysing the match that took place in Dubai between Arsalan from Pakistan and Ni. Reason being, I've just never seen someone play so perfectly versus Steve, who we all know is one of the best characters in Tekken 7 at the moment. He also goes on to play his Devil Jin too and we'll also analyse that. A bit of context before we start though, I was actually told about this guy quite a long time ago by Asim, who's one of the best players in Europe, originally also from Pakistan, from the same city. He told me no matter who picks Steve versus Arsalan, he will always win. And now he's managed to not only beat me Steve, he's also beat Nobi's Steve in tournament as well. So this is going to be very interesting. Let's dive right in. Righto lads, here we go. Ni versus Arsalan, Steve versus Kasumi, and before I begin, just to, just to let you guys know, I'm going to be doing a lot of rewinding, pausing, slow mo as well, just to let you guys know exactly what's going on. Because of course, Tekken is a very fast-paced game. There's going to be a lot of things that get lost uh, if if I don't if I don't do that. So just a, a fair warning. But here we go. And of course, I don't think that this matchup really favours one over the other. But straight off the bat, as you see, um, Arsalan actually goes for a down three because versus Steve, of course, his most dangerous moves are that back one counter hit and, you know, his one, two, one, just jabs in general. So using those high crushing moves are definitely good to do. And you're noticing that, look at Arsalan, he's, he's doing a lot of uh, dash up into duck, dash up into into quick duck and then you see he actually gets a punish on back one so good and catches knee pressing buttons while sending four four into back four is a frame trap and knee actually fell for it and gets a four combo because of it huge damage here we go and over here as you're noticing he's doing down forward one into side step left i think he does it again here down forward one side step left and the reason he's doing that is because down forward one into side step left is going to beat back one it's going to beat down forward one and it will beat his jabs as well. And that's something that um, Ni was doing there. He thought, okay, let me jab after his down, down forward one. And, you know, Arsalan stepped and punished properly. So we go one more time. Yep, down forward one into side step left. Takes the first round. And we go second round. Seeing again. And here, here we go. We actually got Ni using down forward two now. He's noticed a lot of down forward one side step. So he's using down forward two, the homing move, to stop him from doing that. You know, a, a constant mind game here between these two guys. Okay, plus frames. Catches knee stepping back two. Down forward one. Sidestep that duck while standing two. That is incredible. I've never seen anyone launch punish a back one before on whiff. But that was, that was, inc that was crazy. I need to show you that in slow motion, man. So down forward one. Sidestep left. Duck into while standing two and gets a full combo because of it and you know he didn't just mash it it wasn't a read I, it looks like he actually reacted to it and that's one thing i've heard about these pakistanis is that they have really good reactions here we go the rage drive completely shut down with a dick jab and uh arslan takes that as well you notice he thought he had the um advantage here after doing whilst any one two so he tried to go for a mix up here with the rage drive but you see the amount of space there is between arslan and knee Arslan knew that, you know, he was able to interrupt it and go straight for a dick jab into the low and finishes it. And, you know, just great awareness from Arslan in that situation to know that he had enough space and time to do that. Down forward four as well. You notice he's using that move a lot because it causes, um, it, it puts you away from the opponent. It's good for spacing. He's using it again. And also in season one, I don't know about now, but in season one, it definitely used to track to her weak side. Which is sidestep right, by the way. You want to sidestep right versus Kazumi generally. So here we go. Nice low parry. Bam, bam, bam. It's going to go for the uh, fly one for the extra wall carry. Here we go. Running two. Hits knee as well. Now he's got him to the wall. And he's going to try and get out there. Nice. And that's what we talked about before. I mean, the back one. Sidestep left. Good punish. Good reactions. Very, very hard to punish back one on, on whiff. So got very, very good recovery. Again, just keep, he keeps on using that down forward four. And this time actually overextends. You can't avoid getting hit by a back one all the time. And this is what I was talking about last round. The rage drive into a complete mix up. Guesses wrong. Arsalan. Good stuff there, but the dick jab comes in. And you know, th there was actually a lot of a lot that happened there in the end. Um, after he got up, he went for the, the down back four. And tried to assert a mix up. He was only one hit away. And you notice... I'm going to slow it down a little bit. And he actually backdashes here. You see that little backdash? Just a, a, a quick little backdash. And this is something that a lot of players don't really do. And that they need to do. So the people in the intermediates. And even some people at high level. They don't do it all the time. Is when you get hit. 
you know, doing a single backdash completely negates the mix-ups that could come afterwards. And that's what needed, you know, this guy, of course, the best in the world or one of the best in the world. Of course, this is someone who's going to do it. You know, gets hit by Dan Mac 4, backdashes, completely makes Arsalan whiff. Doesn't whiff punish, but he thinks it's his time to go in and actually attack. Knee thinks it's his opportunity. He runs in, tries to go for a down two, but Arsalan, a quick dick jab, finishes it off for him. So overall, I've never really seen anyone play versus Steve that well. I mean, you saw him launch punish back ones on whiff. You saw him completely negate the um, the gameplay, you know. And of course, this is from what I've heard is there's a lot of strong Steve players in Pakistan and specifically in Lahore, where he's from in Pakistan. So that's what I've heard. So he's obviously got a lot of Steve practice, right? And here we're going to see uh, Ni actually pick Devil Jin who is one of his main characters. You know, this is a character he used for the entirety of um, of Tekken Tag 2. His Devil Jin was disgusting back then, and it's still disgusting now, man. We saw in Poland, I was there commentating with Mark, the, the Devil Jin mirror match he had with Kudans in the, in the later part of the tournament. I think it was even the Grand Finals, Winners Finals and Grand Finals. It was, it was really, really good. But, um, you know, Arsalan also plays this matchup pretty well too, and we're going to go over it now. Tournament mode on boys. You ain't skipping no intros. Let's go. Okay, now versus Devil Jin, of course, a lot of you guys know versus the mission was you want to be stepping left as well. Uh, it is a the direction you want to go to make Hell Sweep with, to make even the up forward fours with, that move that you just saw there. And uh, Electric, even though it's got buffed a little bit in season two, you can still step it. And straight off the bat, again, you see Arslan using down three. He's not using any down back fours, really, um, especially in that last match versus Steve. He doesn't want to get counter hit, but here we go. Counter hit fours coming out here. And Kazumi does have a very, very strong counter hit for two. Goes for a tech trap, but doesn't get the wall splat. Down back four. Here we go. <clears throat> and you notice in that situation, it's very, very uh, interesting. Um, <clears throat> he does down back four. Now, after down back four, you can step down forward one if you sidestep right. But because the wall is on this side, Ni can't sidestep right. So for Arsalan, he knows that if he tries to step and get out of there, or if he tries to duck, the best option is to just go for a down forward one. It's the safest option. So that's what Arslan does here. He goes for a down forward one. After getting that, he knows the wall's on his side. Down back four, down forward one. Um, I, I just, it's just a very interesting little mind game thing there. Ni now with the red dress. Arslan going for them high crushing lows again. They can cause a lot of issues for uh, Mishima users, but nice duck on the rage drive. And that is minus 14, of course. So a nice safe punish there with the down forward one by Arslan. Here we go, second round. Okay, nice sidestep, but didn't get the punish because of the camera switch, I think kind of messed it up a little bit for him. And, and we see again, um, this move here is very important for you guys to know. The beginning of Laser Scraper is actually a move that will catch you stepping to the left. So if you try to step Devil Jin to his weak side, that is a move that um, will actually hit you. So that's why you see even in the uh, Devil Jin mirror match that Ni and Kudans had, he used a lot of, they both used a lot of that move because they said, okay, you're not stepping to the left. You're not stepping left. You're not stepping left. So that's a move that Ni's going to throw out to try to make Arsalan think, okay, no stepping left for you, mate. You're going to have to stop doing that now. Nice one, one, two to interrupt. Down back four. <clears throat> okay, this time you notice that actually Arslan didn't sidestep left after down forward one. He just did a back dash. He did a single, sing he did a single back dash. He didn't want to uh, sidestep because, of course, Ni has been using options to to hit him out of that. So very, very interesting. Good. That is actually punishable. Boom, boom. If he doesn't finish the string, you can actually punish um, the forward back two one. No punish on the back four. Goes for a fly mix up. Nice stepping from Ni. So here we go. And more stepping left uh, by Arslan. This time actually steps right. So mixing up a little bit. Down forward four. Down jab. A nice sidestep. So after doing a generic low, he steps left, makes the up forward four whiff, and gets a, a clean punish. And this is something that I think all of you guys can do. Something that I've uh, I'm doing as well with my characters is um, you know that generic down four. And of course, Kazumi has to do down three plus four because she hasn't she has a down four move. It's not a generic. So down three plus four, she goes for um, there. 
And just does a little sidestep left. Boom. Makes the up forward for a whiff. And clean punish. And this is something that you guys can implement into your gameplay with any character, you know. Whoever you play. Do a generic little down four. And you can create a mix up from there. J just by doing that little tiny down four poke. So we go uh, third round here. Arslan gets a counter hit four, but does down back two instead of back two to get the um, tailspin. Bit of a miss input there. He's using the jab really well. Jab's, jab on its own is plus one and can create a mind game in itself. And look at that. Look at that. Really, really good movement there from Arslan. He dashes up and ducks. And we've seen that him doing that a lot. Just dash up Twitch Duck and punishes the electric. So good. Tries to go for the high crushing lows again. Knee ready for it this time. Okay, down forward one. Jab. Jab, jab. Down back four. Here we go. Trying to mix up his timing a little bit as well. Timing is very, very important here. And this is where you're going to see so many Twitch Ducks there. One Twitch Duck. And let's count how many Twitch Ducks he does here. So, we're going to rewind it. Okay, one Twitch Duck. Two Twitch Ducks. Down forward one. Side step left into 112 again. Something which I said is really good. And I think he finishes it here with a generic down four low. Um, just just really, really good stuff there from Arslan in general, man. So, um, guys, I don't know, man. He played that matchup pretty good. So, ladies and lads, that's about going to do it for the analysis video of Arslan versus Ni. Um, you know, we saw his Kazumi play versus the Devil Jin and the Steve. And, you know, um, like I said before, I was told about this guy a long time ago. Uh, I wanted to make this video for a long time. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, um, this is not me saying that Arslan is better than me. You know, I, I've, I've actually had a lot of people kind of saying a lot of people have been saying that a lot of people have been saying a lot of a lot of things this is the first to two set this was a first to two set and you know there's you can't judge anything off of just a, a first to two set saying who's better right but what we can say is that he played that match up if you slow it down which is what we did we slowed it down you can see that he played that match up in a specific way you know he he, he did the down forward one into sidestep left versus both devil Jin and steve which is the kind of which is their weak side um especially versus steve where his back one will whiff and his jabs will whiff and you know he made me have to constantly adapt that's this is why i've heard that when he went when ursulan went down to um i, th I think it, i think it was singapore he played long sets versus these Koreans and he beat a lot of them and in first to tens it's because these guys play a mind game their reactions are really good um you know being able to sidestep duck a back one with Steve and then do a slow while standing two and punish it I mean that's incredible right There's, these guys uh, reactions are on point so I just wanted to highlight that I wanted to highlight this um this, this great play I've learned a lot from watching him as well and I hope you guys have too guys if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe man subscribe to the YouTube I'm going to be uploading a lot more now I've kind of been neglecting my YouTube for a bit I've been kind of busy with my stuff but I will be uploading more Ladies and lads, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Peace.